All right, man, let's talk about, uh, you know, the Warriors GM says that the Warriors could regret trading uh, James Washington away to the Detroit Pistons and that they may already be starting to kind of regret that. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Financially, want to support the channel, cash out, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link in description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Um, hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications, go live or drop video. So, yeah, uh, uh, Joe Jacob trusts his consensus on James Wiseman trade. The Warriors could regret. And yeah, you had a few of those throughout, you know, throughout sports history where, um, you know, teams gave up on players too fast. Um, you know, and they end up, you know, regretting it. And, you know, throughout Pistons history, I mean, Middleton was one of them, gave up on them too fast, you know. So I think people remember that one. So, um, but, hey, it is what it is. So, so uh, owners on, oh, excuse me, the worst owner, Joe, uh, Joe Lacob, uh, didn't uh, want to give up on number former number two overall draft pick James Wiseman, but in the end, he trusted his basketball people. In an interview with the Athletics, Tim Kawaki Jacob said his trading a seven foot one center to Detroit was a very very hard, and revealed that he believed it might come back to bite the Warriors. He said, "You know, we might very well regret that one long term or even in immediate terms." Jacob told Kawaki me after the Warriors Thursday win over Los Angeles Clippers to Chase Center. But as much as I love uh, the guy, I can't overrule what our basketball ops and our coaches and our players felt was the right thing to do. So he said not only was the basketball uh, front office and the players was in on it too, you know, and he didn't want to do it. And a lot of times, a lot of these coaches don't want to be listening. I mean, these owners don't want to listen to their basketball people. And, you know, so, you know, really got to ask yourself, if the players if the players felt that way about – uh about James Wiseman as well as the front office. I mean, how how was he going to be able to grow an environment that was so toxic around him? And that's why, you know, Draymond clapping his hands, talking about he's going to ball out in Detroit. Because they, 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 they probably felt uh, – they, they probably felt uh, – they probably felt responsible. They probably felt responsible. Real talk, they probably felt, you know, like, come on, we know this ain't the place for him. We know he ain't going to make it here. You know what I'm saying? So let's move on and get rid of him right now. And that's probably what that's probably what tip they was on. So it's a consensus thing where we worry or worry not me. And we're going to do what's best, the best thing is. And we felt it would improve our team in, in the short term and kind of went forward with Gary Payton in a second. Lego say the trade took some convincing for him, but he understands circumstances. I think James was a really good young player. And we're not going to get uh, many opportunities to draft a young guy like that again, like I've said. And he, he, and he really didn't, let's be honest, he really didn't really have a chance. It's partially his fault, partially bad luck, partially our fault for not playing him enough. But we're not getting the opportunity to get a big talent like that with size very often. I mean, it was a very hard decision for the organization, quite honest. So, you know, ended up to the head coach to bring, get the guys up under speed and integrate them. Like, what was the issue with integrating him just to like, hey, we just need you to rebound, you know, put some putbacks, defend, and then we didn't evolve into it being your team potentially down the road. I don't, I don't get why, you know, to me it seemed like a lot of this fell on he was injured and probably couldn't cut up, come up to speed. But to me, a lot of this just felt like, you know, uh, Steve Kerr didn't know what he was doing, bro. That's what it kind of felt out to me. Like, Steve Kerr didn't know what he really was doing and how to integrate and how to integrate this kid and get him up to speed. That's what it, like. That's what it kind of sounded like to me. Even if he would have stayed healthy, it's like, you know, even if it would have stayed, he would have stayed healthy, it's like, come on. It's like, you know, 
you don't believe that they were really going to do what, you know, what need to be done to get him in the loop. And great organizations find a way to use talent regardless. And, and, and he wasn't the only one over there suffering. I mean, you had Jordan Poole. Eventually, he figured it out behind the scenes, you know. But uh, uh, Moody and Kamingo over there ain't doing too well neither. He said, I don't think we started out. We thought he'd be available, to be honest. Like I said, he was expensive last year. The contract we really couldn't afford. But given what we did with Watts, we took some money off the books. Our biggest weakness, you can argue, had been perimeter defense. So we felt we did a good move by Myers. Or GM by Myers called the trade tough. Uh, Coach D. Kerr said he was all in on Wiseman and players such as Divincenco, Draymond Green, Stephon sent well wishes um, and their former teammate after the deal was final, but apparently the team consensus part ways with the big man. You know, so Lego built a close relationship with Wiseman over years while Wiseman was sent to the Warriors G League affiliate Santa Cruz. Lego was course side to show him support. My thing is this, bro. If D. Kerr was all in, and Steve Kerr was a great coach. You find a way. You find a way to get that kid up to speed. If this organization is great with a great group of guys, you find a way to get the kid up to speed. So if he really could play, I don't really think you know they really thought he can play. I don't really think they would have gave up on him. That's my opinion. I don't really think they would have gave up on him. You know, I don't really think they would have gave up on him. You know, so something ain't working right with me. If you all in, uh, if you all in, you find a way, you find a way to integrate him and make it work. Who can use somebody that can run, jump, dunk at his size and block shots? Why couldn't they use him? That's what you got to ask. Why couldn't they find a way to use them? It was a disconnect there with me. It was a disconnect. There was a, di there was a huge disconnect. Somebody wasn't doing their job. Somebody wasn't doing their job. So... I mean, we'll see. And if you don't turn out to be any any good, I mean, shit, then, you know, the Warriors, you know, the, the Pistons didn't really risk much. They got rid of Sadiq Bay. They wasn't really planning, you know, didn't really see a future here for him. I mean, it's a risk worth taking, I would say. He looked pretty solid here already. He looked pretty solid. So, um, but, I mean, it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Financially, want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find us on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, or Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Hit the link tree. You can find me everywhere in the link tree. Um, appreciate the love and support. Peace.